Hey, this is Osprey from MyChartCoach.com, and we are looking at ticker symbol SKYS. Okay, uh, there was this uh, very nice move today. We put an alert out in the chat at the open um, when <clears throat> when this stock caught, caught, caught our eye that there was a bounce play setting up. Um, as you can see yesterday, there was this close below the lower Bollinger Band, and uh, the lower Bollinger Band is at 171 right here, and uh, that's the solid purple line. And so there's this close below, and you can see there was a lower wick formed on the bottom of the candle, and that showed loading off of low of day yesterday. And check out there, there's this big volume spike. So uh, yeah, if you look up here, there was a huge drop on on accumulation distribution. So you had this uh, nasty drop yesterday, but then there was a bounce today where uh, low where, where the low of day um, th there's no uh, lower wick on today's candle. If you look down here, the open was low of day, and and the bulls have been in control since the very open. The, the, the share price has not dropped below the open, and uh, uh, it, it, as you can see, the, the share price now has broke through back up above the, the lower Bollinger Band, broke EMA4 at 210, and it has also broke the uh, EMA8 at 223. And so now you can see the, the big resistance level now is this uh, middle Bollinger Band at 270. You can see the dotted purple line here. And no, notice how uh, back here there was a big resistance, uh, pulled back, hit the lower Bollinger Band, came back up, hit the middle Bollinger Band, failed to break. So now this is going to be the key level. Um, you know, th th this should be a, a major re resistance level for skies. This could uh, mark the top of the of the morning run. What we'll have to see a close above the middle Bollinger Band will signal more upside potential, and that that would put the 50-day moving average on deck. Um, fail to break middle Bollinger Band resistance will uh, be a continuation of the downtrend. As you can see, Skies has been in a downtrend, riding EMA's 4 and 8 resistance lower below the middle Bollinger Band. So a new uptrend will not start until the middle Bollinger Band turns into support. As you can see, there's a giant volume spike today. So there's huge money behind today's move for this uh, thinly traded stock. Check out the average uh, daily volume. And you've got uh, MACD pinched here. So we'll be looking out for a MACD bullish crossover. And then if you uh, look up here on FASTO and RSI, you can see uh, RSI is still below 50. So, you know, up 106% today, but um, not even above 50 yet. So there's plenty of juice on RSI. You know, if you see RSI above 50, that's going to signal that the chart is heating up. Okay, right now, this is just a dead cat bounce play. And then if you uh, look up here at uh, this 15-minute chart, so instead of uh, each candle representing one day, each candle on this chart represents 15 minutes of trading. Um, this is what we call a, a V-shaped recovery, you know, V-shaped uh, snapback rally. Look at this uh, move here. You've got the uh, big drop going down, and then uh, it looked like they dropped the share price for this, uh, for this big uh, load here. As you can see, the, the share price came down, and there was this giant volume bar got filled yesterday, right before the close, the last trading bar, uh, tra trading uh, of the day. And the, you can see there's this big uh, lower wick off of the candle, the last candle of the day. So this was signaling that bounce players were loading, and that has been followed by uh, big volume. The share price broke above the the middle Bollinger Band here at the open, and candles have been riding EMA's four and eight support higher. As long as this middle Bollinger Band support level holds, this new uptrend should continue. If uh, the the key here is EMAA at 232, we'd like to see that hold. If two if EMAA breaks, there's a, there'll be a drop down to the middle Bollinger Band, and so usually you don't like to hold for the drop because you can see that's between 232 and 188. Okay, the uh, key resistance level to break is going to be up here at, at 11 o'clock. This this uh, bar got hit, and uh, at, you, you, there was a, a hit right here at at the 254 255 level at 11 o'clock and then um, as you can see the candles have been failing to break that level in order to head higher the candles must break that level okay uh, as you can see there's this huge uh, uptick on accumulation distribution today you can see look at this big sh shot up here when a uh, big volume came in so yeah so as long as the middle Bollinger Band support level holds the uptrend should continue okay check us out at mychartcoach.com or at our youtube channel mychartcoach.com thank you